I'm glad to introduce our, our tonight's speaker, Dr. Heng Lee. Uh, Dr. Lee received his PhD from the Institute of Theoretical Physics at the Chinese Academy of Sciences in 2006. Uh, while doing his PhD, he also collaborated with the Beijing uh, uh, Genomics Institute in a number of projects, including the finishing of the rice genome and the sequencing of silkworm. Upon graduation, Dr. Lee Yield became a postdoctoral fellow at uh, the lab of Dr. Richard Durbin at the Wellcome Trust uh, Sanger Institute in the UK. And now he's a uh, research scientist at uh, the Broad Institute uh, at the labs of Dr. David Reich and Dr. David uh, Altschuler. Um, in 2012, Dr. Lee received the Benjamin Franklin Award for Open Access in Life Sciences. Uh, by the members of the bioinformatics support community. So, Dr. Lee's work has made several contributions to the field of next generation sequencing. He was the, uh, he's the lead developer of the famous remapping utilities, including BWA and SAM tools. Um, as of last night, both uh, papers were cited over 4,400 times. Um, so, it can be said that uh, uh, very few people have impacted the field of genomics the way Dr. Lee has. Tonight, he's going to talk to us about experimenting FM index for multiple human samples. Also, thank you for inviting me here. And, uh, and it's really my great honor to speak here. Okay, I'm going to talk about this uh, FM index for human. I, I, work, I mostly work in with humans. I will start from this high 10 that Elifan released uh, earlier this year. The high 10 is uh, it is a set of machines. There are 10 machines in, in one side. You have to buy at least 10 machines. And for this uh, set of machines, you have uh, the Elifan uh, promise uh, 20,000 genomes at 34 coverage per year. And uh, typically, one genome, one 34, one 34 genome is about 100 gig final. Uh, data per, per sample, and so that put them together, that's about one set of machine, you will produce two petabytes of uh, reads data compressed in, in bad files. If you keep bad files on disk, you need two petabytes of disk at least. And uh, imagine that uh, this throughput will be will increase in, in the following years, and also there will be more more these machines around the world, and so it is it's going to extra petabytes of data every year. And so we have this huge amount of data. Uh, given this data, it's actually quite difficult to share it. Say you, you have sequence, you have twenty thousand genomes, and how would you download it? If you download it, you need to have a, a two petabyte disk, and transferring is very slow over the, the, the network. And also, even if you have the data, say you have the raw reads, and it, it takes a long time to to reprocess it. It it takes. It, it takes a few years to, to, to reprocess it, to map the genome to do the very coding. And uh, even, say, at broad, archiving this data is quite difficult. You, you, you keep it for long-term use, it's difficult. People are not thinking about, a lot about that. And I think it's still affordable in the next couple of years, but people don't, are not sure if it's going to work in future. Uh, and so people come with this idea of sharing to share the, the process the, the data. Basically, we can if we can do processing calling, we can share share the just things and the emails, and then we, we discard the, the, the raw data. But this actually effort is not really working. If you read the paper, uh, papers, a lot of people argue that you are missing a lot of people are doing the comparison between process. And when they're doing the comparison of process, some people find the the, the, the Disagreement between cause and can be as high as twenty percent. And you, you you take two you take the same alignment and run two same same colors. And in some in some scenarios, the difference is twenty percent. And will you trust the will you keep the, 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 this data? Of course, I mean it's kind of how to compare it. If you compare it more carefully, it's, it's smaller, but still, it's around the several percent to ten percent range. And also, there's a recent Nature Genetic publication from Berg Institute. They did do the the de novo assembly of short reads, and they found that the previous the the so called the platinum um, data sets they, they provide a call set, they think that twenty five percent of the uh, sleeves and emails are missing from this sample, and so this 
we are not really at the stage that we are doing the perfect slim and in a point. And in addition to slim and in there are structural variations and there's phasing uh, supporting by rays and also uh, uh, the reference genome is, is also in, incomplete and maybe when update the, the reference genome you will find more, more variations. And uh, all, all, I mean all, all the sorts of things can't be really covered by, by SNPs. It is really is not really working in the way we, we would hope. If you think about the old way, I mean like ten years ago, what we would what we would we do? We at that time ten years ago we do the normal assembly. Especially for bacteria, we just assemble the, 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 the bacteria into the into a, a genome and then we almost discard the race. Although NCBI has still has this read the read database to keep some of the race, but so far as I know, people rarely don't look at these the, the reads. People just use the, the, the normal assembly. The reason that the, the, the normal assembly works here is because it's, it keeps a, a perfect assembly keeps all the information in the raw, raw, raw data. You have SNPs, emails, and all these all these structural variations, and you don't need a reference assembly to, to do this work. And so, why we don't do that anymore in the for for NGS, the, the because the assembly is hard with, with short reads, and secondly, because it's hard to assemble default genomes. But in the following, I'm arguing that it's actually, it's still, nowadays, it's actually affordable to do you know, assembly, and still using the old way to, not exactly the old way, but similar to the old way to keep the, 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 the data. And uh, we can still, we can keep the vast majority of the information, not, not worse than the current pipeline, and make the data much smaller, just keep them. And uh, I think in some way you can throw away the raw data. I mean, you, this is a trade-off. Whether you keep it the raw data, or you keep a much smaller set of data, and uh, it's much easier to process. But how that works? Let's start from the, the assembly. Assembly, I'm showing that this is the overlap assembly. Probably most people know, about, know more about the uh, the, the, the way uh, assembly, I'm going to show you the overlap assembly. I will briefly explain why we, why I use this instead of the, the more popular the green graph. Uh, here, there's a carbon, in this carbon, each bar is a rate. And here, there's a hero level in human. We are talking about human, there are hero, hero levels. And here, there's hero level. And read 6 and 8 have this red allele. And uh, read 5 and 7 have this green allele. And this is, uh, as you can see, uh, imagine there's a reference genome here, and this is the, the read map there. And so you have sig significant overlap between one and two. And so you can you start with the overlap graph. In this graph, each node represents a read. Oh, sorry. Sorry, that's my wife. My wife's having CC defense today. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, in this graph, you have once you have overlaps, you have you you, you, you add a, a, a edge. This this is node node represent reads, edge represent overlaps, see the long overlaps, and then you just try the overlaps. You have this graph, and uh, there is a difference between this this dotted lines and this solid lines. The reason is that if you see reads one two three, you have overlap between one and two, two and three, and one and three also have overlap. But actually, the connectivity is is already present present in in one well, node. There's overlap in one and two and two and three. Actually, this overlap is not quite necessary, not completely necessary, but not quite necessary. Necessary. And then you can use this even to get rid of this this act. All the thoughts I I can can be can be removed, and keeping most of the information in in in, in the graph. This is called this step called Trinity reduction. This is the kind of redundant edges. You can remove it. Not to remove it, the graph has much fewer edges. And then this also has a nice feature. You will see a lot of nodes like this, having uh, basically in, in degree and out degree are both one. And you can, all this one is not, you can work from one and three. And similarly, you can work from one to four. And then you get, you get this, this one. This one to four, you can work them unambiguously work them. And then nine to nine ten, and then five seven is unambiguous work. You, you won't make mistake. And you need to forget this one. And so from this ten rays, we get four convicts. This is called unitives. And uh, we keep the the level. If you look at this the next view, it's uh, 
we start from the race, you get four counties. The count four counties looks like this. This is one to four for this homodivus region, homodivus region for, 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 for the right hand. And then you have like, one county for each video. This one county for this video, and the other county for, for this video. And imagine that you do this whole thing for the whole for genome. And uh, actually, you can keep essentially all the hero that that goes. If the, the, the assembly is ideal, it, it will keep all the hero levels and all the information in the read. And it doesn't lose anything in the, in, in, in the, in the doctoral reads. And uh, this procedure you may and, and generate, and this is follows the, the, the three steps. This is, as shown before, is overlap construction, transfer reduction, and uh, do ambiguous merge. And Jared simply here and Richard have this paper can do this in one go with FME names. You can build a step from the rates, and then you can you can immediately come from this step to this step without adding in the immediate step. You don't really need to construct the graph. Uh, and so this kind of the, the old way, but it's a, uh, when you run it on, on say 34 genome, 34 coverage genome, you ideally, if the county is, is perfect, you preserve all the heads. And uh, if you keep counties and also the degree counts, you count, keep how many, how many staff positions on, on the street. This is, in theory, it's loses. It, you, you don't lose any information except per, per, pairing. I think the, 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 the weak point is the, the current. Uh, you can comprising, build, you, you have county, county is, you, you don't keep individual rates and you don't keep the, the, the base policies, it's much smaller. You start from a, a hundred gig band, band typically you, you will end up with a three plus three gig, gig GZ counting file, including the, the per base rate. The, 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 the and this is sort of the reduction in in the in the uh, in the data. This project is actually in in the previous paper. It's probably two years ago. It, the method is now quite new. But I these days I'm almost working on some details to make it really works. Uh, so one comment about this point of the brain graph. The brain graph is lossy by nature. The brain graph is essentially uh, you can build it in, in, in this way. You chop the rays into k camera. So you just chop the rays into overlapping cameras. And then following the following this procedure to build a graph, it, 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 it is actually the, it, exactly the, the, the brain graph. But because this procedure, you chop the rays into cameras, all the rays are as if they are only camera now. You lost long range information. You will lose, lose uh, especially for longer rays, you will lose. Uh, uh, facing the information uh, like that, and uh, that's the way to, to rescue this information. You can do read threading. You basically you map the read back to the graph, and then to to I mean to resolve it, the tunnel. But uh, my burden will tell you that this is the optimal threading is a bit hard. This is actually not possible to really do that. I mean, if you want to do the optimal, the more on the optimal solution. And so this is really not the, the right solution to, to this. And the, and the uh, overlapping graph is actually much simpler in, in this respect. So I was keep talking, I kept talking about this, if the assembly is perfect, or how assembly is never perfect. It's very difficult. And how that works in practice. Uh, this is showing the one evaluation. Uh, I, have, I have two data sets. Uh, one is this haploid that they get a human, and the other is diploid human. And we, because it's, it's biolog biologically haploid, and so we would have, it, it have to see as few as uh, as few uh, levels as possible. Because this biologically, there shouldn't be. In theory, there shouldn't be any, any levels. And so this is gives you an idea of of uh, false positives. When you call levels, they are false, false positives. This gives a nice control of the false positives. But if they say if the color costs no no level, it, it costs every one every phase, every uh, sniff has homodegas, you will call no kill level, but it's all positive wrong. And so the other control, the positive control is a probably similar deal. This is uh, default. You would want to call many kill levels from this sample. If this color too conservative on kill levels, it will it will not call enough kill levels from that. 
this is, is a positive and negative control. And so you can calculate the positive rates like as the number of kilozygotes from this type of example. The, the true positive is identical to the sensitivity. It's the number of uh, uh, deep kilozygotes minus the hyperhyde kilozygotes. Because these two are both have the same type of, they form the same population. And so ideally, the number of sleep per hyperhyde should be the same. And so this, uh, this subtraction should work. On real data, uh, this show actually in my previous paper for sleeps. Okay, uh, this this part. Uh, mostly you, you can you just go fo focusing on uh, the, the, this purple, the purple proportion, the purple part of this is the upper filtering. How many uh, how many kilozygote snips left in this type of in the type of sample? And for this one, for and the level is down down here. This means it will match this member, type plus this color, member color combination. For this member color combination, you call about this is uh, 30,000 sleeves, 30,000 kilozygote sleeves in this hypothesis sample. And uh, this is basically tell you about what the rate is proportional to what the rate. And for this one, is the, the number of kilozygote sleeves in main travel is a negative related to sensitivity. And for this one, you see this bar is about 2.05 million kilozygote sleeves. Uh, that, that's about okay, that, this point, that, that, that's all. But the sensitivity is this, this, this positive rate. And you look at this plot, you see all the combination, 4.2, previous, vitamin N, this is previous, 4.2, GTK haplotype color. For the two samples, this is a uh, unified chain type of auto, auto GTK. You can guess that this, the last column is actually the, the, the method I was proposing. Is the, you, you do the uh, assembly, you map the, the, the uh, assembly to, to the reference chain and then call call themes. Actually, this is this method in terms of the default color rate is actually yeah. lower than others, and in terms of sensitivity, it's not the best, but it's comparable to the others, and it is not how it works. Which is the same that in practice this method works. Although it's not perfect because the assembly, it's more because the, the assembly is not perfect. There are I've ever, ever seen assembly. And you know it's a it similar story. Um, this project is also useful. I mean, the part, this is, uh, this side is more like a note. Um, this project is because I'm uh, managing the degree to, to, the, to the tool. To, Two set of reads, high power reads and deep power reads for the to the genomes, and then we can get a sense of the top rate and the sensitivity, and we can do the same to evaluate the, the, the assembly. How good is the human uh, assembly? Here, the field actually the, the level is similar, but just in a different field. On the x-axis is the number of kilos that was lived in this high power individual, and the, on the y-axis is the is the kilos that was in deep power individual. And ideally, if the assembly is perfect, then if there's no, no errors, there's no errors in, there's no transport variations, if it, everything is perfect, you would expect to see it down here. That is, there's no kilozygotes called from this, from the, this type of example, but a lot of kilozygotes from different examples. The reason we see it down here is not, not, not here, is that, say, we take this, this for this is GRD37, the reference genome. The reason we see it down here is because, um, uh, the, the reference genome is not really complete. Say there's a, maybe there's a one, there are two copies in, in, in stage M1. But in the assembly, because the divergence is not high, they merge into one copy. And so the, the, two, the two copies from stage M1 will be, will be mapped to the same position. And the difference between the copies will become kilo levels. That's why you, you see kilo levels here. And, uh, and so, I, Two several uh, assemblies. The the worst is actually this this, this called white yen bomb. This is a uh, this is uh, a <coughs> short short rate rate assembly in NCBI. It's, you can see from this one you have for 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 example supposedly there's no kilo levels. You call actually half a million kilo levels leave from this from this assembly, which means it collects a lot of uh, signal duplication into one copy. That's why you see you call a lot, lot of kilo levels. This heuristic summer zombie. Initially, I thought this pretty good. Actually, it's not quite. It's uh, still half a million. 
this is represent human assembly GRT37. It's a uh, there's still a lot. 38 is definitely an improvement over 37. It's uh, you 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 start to call uh, fewer kilo levels from and more more kilo fewer kilo levels from haploid and more kilo levels from diploid. And this one is the, the type well assembly, the type well CH1 assembly. This is arguably the, the best. You call a lot of and this is from type well only. You you start to mix with the human race. And this one, if we use the only, not only they have some bad data, bad data, but this not as good as the Hyvel only or something. Hyvel is really doing an impressive job here. It's just a single assembly. It's 54 for the coverage, but it's arguably better than, than the rest of them. You know, it's similar, this similar story. Uh, okay, implementation. This, uh, Uh, this the whole pipeline has several components. The first is to construct the FME index that published uh, uh, a few months ago, and then this this do do the error correction, unity do do the do the uh, assembly, also do the do the graphs and cleaning. Uh, yeah, overall, it's like this. For sorry for for the human, a kind of terrorist. It's about takes about the peak memory is quite high for now it's quite high it's possible to reduce it but uh, haven't gone into that part the peak memory is about 85 gig that you, you need a 960 me memory machine to run this pipeline on six CPU cores it's a it's a 15 CPU list or about two it depends on the CPU it's about two to three uh, block of this this speed is actually not is slower, but not much slower than the current pipeline that is mining, sorting, and uh, and RM building. It's it's not much different from that. That uh, in theory, I think it's possible to reduce to reduce it, but uh, this is mostly about the engineering part. Um, okay, the above is, is the application for one sample. That is, you can for one sample, you can you run a, a assembly, you can compress it in thirty four re re reduction in 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 the in the data size. Okay, I just to show one thing I haven't mentioned. Is is that the it is the precession time. When you when you have short reads, you back it, you I mean you start from the beginning, it takes about a couple of days to do to do the whole process on multiple CPUs. Uh, if you if you say something happens if you if you want to update if you want to change to a new reference genome, it actually starts as in this case. In, in, in this part, if you want to change a, a reference genome, that's another it, that's another set several days to do the, the mapping from the, the beginning. But if you have a context, you map the context and, and then do you map context it takes about half an hour on several CPUs and do the reference coding is uh, like six minutes. And so when you have that, it not only reduce the, the the data side, the, the file the size of the data file is also vastly reduced the, the processing time. You don't really need some very difficult algorithm to probably this model to do that. You just map the context and you just count the, the difference between the context and, and the reference and then you that the <coughs> So it's much faster than you start from the data rate. Okay, about that for this for single genome and, and the title is for multiple multiple genome. And this is uh, is more a uh, exploring <coughs> part of, of that. Um, you have one genome. And actually the, the power of, of FM index is to in the, to compress it FM index is based on BWP. BWP is a compression measure. And uh, the more compressible the, the smaller the the, 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 the the file size. And what if you you, compress, you put multiple size somebody into the, the squeeze multiple somebody into the same FM index. This will cover the result. This is the uh, 91 Han genome assembled by HPGI. This is not by me. This is they lose all the heterodiagonal information in, in most of the heterodiagonal information in the data because typically a sample doesn't keep the the heterodiagonals. They they just throw away all the Uh They have long context because they, they throw away all the all the heterodiagonals. They have long context and longer scaffold. Uh, and if you, you if you you put the ninety one genomes in, 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 in this one, that's that's how gig. The 
this like this land that if you you convert this you draw draw data that's going to be like uh, about terabytes of this data. But when I put it in, in one file, that's twelve gig. That's a, a great it, it's fast reduced uh, file file size. And you can retrieve back all of each 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 sample from from the this this, this image. And uh, here you say here is another not, not experiment. This this is on at GDP, seven genome diversity per project. This is a uh, uh, three hundred humans over over the, the world from a variety of populations. Uh, all study for coverage, for example. And uh, I uh, I assemble them with my tools and to keep all the kilo that that goes in 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 this uh, uh, in this samples. In total, there's about uh, four billion unix, it's very short context. Uh, one terabyte of uh, oh, okay, they, they, there are uh, about uh, two two terabytes of data on, on both strands. Okay, one strand is uh, is one terabyte. The final index is this one, forty two gig of every index. If you have this one file, you keep all the two hundred two hundred and fifty genomes in this in this one file. That's about a point two feet per base, and uh, actually the title is wrong. It's not one fifty five. It's all all the data. The new data is two hundred fifty. Uh, yeah, the 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 number are about about the two the two uh, fifty uh, samples. Uh, if you look at this whole process, we start from two ter twenty six terabytes of data in bands. This is even a we we signal with with a uh, deep with the Yubina, and Yubina sent us by hand the 26 terabytes. And if we do the assembly, we keep the unit ticks. And ideally, this is not is is except the pairing information. This is a silicon reduction from 26 terabytes after the assembly is uh, less than 900 gig components. And if we decide the, the pervasive information from 255 to, uh, to, four, to 42 gig, that's a six hundred fold reduction in size. That's you keep all the most of the information, but you you have this uh, uh, you have much smaller file and uh, uh, to, to keep to, to keep all, all to keep all this data. Uh, um, there are several uh, use of this data structure, but. You know, the DLT is used for in, in GitHub in Baltai and in SOAP. It is used for, for, for read making. And so it's not only to keep, to compress data. That's only one use of that. And, uh, and the other use of that is, uh, actually, this is not, not really related. It is related to the uh, assembly. OK. Mm, OK, that's uh, from here. Um, you have, I have 254 cent samples. And yeah, with Dynamo Jam, you can find something that you can't find otherwise. This is a, a example from do 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 Dynamo assembly. This is a one uh, assembly from from this one county from from this one of these samples. If you run run the run blast against uh, the NT database, you get the blast case like this. This is all very short context. The NTI people call this a uh, key context. This this found by KZ Paul. Uh, the they call the key the the very short county, the force in ant. And you can see it's matched to a lot of force in ant. But this is similar had never be, how, never been seen in the in the gene map. This is really, this is new county. People only see the fragments, but this is a twenty KB long long county that people don't know. You can only find it with with assembly. That is you, you if you keep snips and indels, you will definitely lose this, this county because it's you 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 have to map read it, you get maps not nowhere. That's the importance of the 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 normal assembly. And then the next is uh, is the uh, as I said it's used the I mean DWT is used for mapping. And actually you can also do the mapping against the, this to do the mapping against this two hundred and fifty genome at, at at the same time. Although it, it, it will be slower but uh, in principle it's possible, especially if you found problem map matches only. And so you can uh, 
they did maybe you can you can you can do 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 redoing mapping and also it's has the same exactly the same data structure as the the, the gateway map. I know you can do seeding. You can find the exact map matches with this. Is. And it is it's pretty fast. How fast it is? It is uh, if you if I allow the CTM one context to this in, in, in index, it's a uh, uh, okay a hundred ten million hundred bits per read twenty minutes one on, on one CPU. And if I, I, I map the CTM one unit gigs that's about three gig to this to this two hundred fifty genomes that's about two hours. Uh, after the, the, the mapping, you will you will see about uh, 40 low size that not found in, in this in sample. So by well, mapping, you can see which view is not found in any one of these uh, 250,000 samples. Uh, it takes well, uh, definitely too longer because the count is longer and it's a more 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 diverse. This is the similar. This is mapping the human reference genome to. To, to the, the data structure and to find uh, how many human sequences the, the, the sequences in the GRC38 that not present in this one of these uh, samples. There are more samples, but you can, there's one interesting thing is there are about 32,000 loci not found in, in these samples, and half of them are from the unplaced and localized context. You, the the reference genome has a few short context that can't be found can't be placed in the reference genome. And this can't be actually error prone and also is more polymorphic. Um, currently, uh, currently this, uh, I think this approach works. It's very, it's very helpful for, 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 single, single, for single, single G genome. And I think it's comparable, maybe not better, but it's comparable. I think it's better at emails, but on Steam it's comparable to, to the current best practice for single genome. Uh, there are several issues. I think I'm still not quite experienced on, in uh, assembly. It's, uh, it really takes a lot of experience to do really good assembly, and I think I'm not that person. I think if more you know, assembly developers work on that problem, I think we, we can even get better assembly and lose fewer data. And uh, secondly, is that uh, although the, the sum of information is actually all there, you can you can uh, say I can take the the tenth sample from this index. You can do that very, very not uh, very quickly from from the forty two gig gig uh, index. But if you say I want a found camera, I found camera match to the, the index. I want to know which sample has a camera. It's quite costly. It's very costly to get that information from this index. Mostly because. Uh, to get that information, you need this structure called subject array. But subject array is become very huge. But your the, the signal data is compared so well, but subject array can't be, be compared that well. And so it will cost a lot more memory to, to find the sample information. Also in theory, it's possible. That's more, more costly. And there's also some technical technical issues for the, the efficient uh, merging. And currently, it's only for high coverage data. It's central coverage. I, I would say 20 maybe work, but not ideal. And it's not really work for, for cancer data because cancer have had this low subclone problem, and you know it's had problem with it. If you want to really want to do a dummy, you will have problem. And uh, currently, this 250 genome costs about 40 gigabytes. Uh, I think it's not going to work for over 1,000, at least not in the current form, but it's possible that um, maybe with some modification. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, actually, in this field, when, when the high of data that comes, uh, people are thinking to just use better engineering. So, I mean, some groups just think use better engineering, just say more CPUs and cloud computing, more this, more this, but I think there's a limit because the 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 uh, the increase in the sequencing throughput outweighs the greatly outweighs the, the the computers. I mean the, the storage increase. I think there's one day. I think um, uh, we must change things to change, change completely change our current current pipeline. This kind of my my view. I don't know if it's good, but I kind of work work toward that 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 direction. That maybe one Monday we need to change, and we need, this is just one possible way to do that. There are other other ways to achieve this, uh, to, to 
who reduce the, 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 the data size while keeping the information. But I hope people, more people to work, on, work in, in that direction and uh, to rethink the algorithm and also the entire platform. Thank you. And uh, I thought, let's see. I hope I'm struggled with when doing human assembly is sort of getting the error correction right and, and there's balance between getting rid of as many errors as you can but then if you're too aggressive you start to lose packs. Um, and in, in a way it's really similar to a variant quality problem. You're trying to detect what a hat is as you're trying to do error correction. So in, in the context of your CHM1 results, how much of the sensitivity that you've lost is due to being either over aggressive with error correction or not correcting enough? Um, in the in 2012 paper, when I first published it, it's actually the sensitivity is very bad. It's uh, it's uh, in comparison to the to the I mean to the state of art, I'm losing about 10 to 20 percent of the levels. And when I look at look back, it it's mostly caused by error correction. It's too aggressive. It just created a lot of uh, uh, kilo levels away. And uh, in this new iteration, I'm trying to to, to be conservative. Um, I actually think in the current in the current version is not a lot of people that was allowed because of the the the, the error correction. I think it's mostly because the, this uh, in in graph naming phase and also in some coding phase. I think they at those steps is those steps. I mean, too small uh, that levels. But uh, on the other hand, I haven't really looked very carefully about separate the the, the two cause of uh, of this. That's so why. This is just my feeling. Yeah. The, the, so you think that this pack file assembly that they did just based on their better is is better than the the current version of the human genome? Uh, I think currently it's not it's not as good. There's a there's a the pack hasn't released their assembly yet. Because they are kind of because the, the group doing the assembly is uh, is. Making a paper is trying to publish a paper. Uh, I have that assembly, but I think there's one problem with assembly is that it has some a lot of the size of total size of assembly 3.2 gig. I think that's too large. It should be 3 gig. And the actual 200 megabases, I think these are signal errors. I think the the uncorrected signal errors. There are some some I think there are some uh, dirty corners there, and. Uh, uh, I think the base quality is not the best because although it's pretty good, but I think it's not best. I think the best that we can be achieved by combining the human data and the the, the parallel data. I think if we combine them properly, I think we will get a uh, better than the current weapon genome. You know. But now I think it's it's kind of in par. It's had better in some way, but worse in the others. And, and do you think most of the difference is small duplications that are not called correctly, or is it these floating pieces that you found, like in the blocks, or, like the Fosman and? Uh, uh, sorry, you you mean what most of the the actual this no kind of novel sequence? Yeah. Actually, I think um, the human reference genome. Actually, I this written one work in the past uh, couple of weeks. I think the reference genome is fairly complete. I would guess there are if you in actually I found, I was trying to find the, this normal compound the normal sequence that present in the two two fifty some of that, but not in the reference reference human genome. I think that's about, depends on how 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 what the threshold you you set. That's about several several megabases. It's not. Oh, okay. It's not. Very much. No, it's not 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 very much. So I think the human reference genome is fairly complete. So most of the issues are duplicates. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, like that. It's not because of the DPP sequence. Yeah. So what's your overall impression with respect to the whole uh, issue of the Bruin graphs versus the overlapping, where it's overlapping seems much more natural and, and intuitive. And yet it seems that still, even uh, after this work, in terms of actual sensitivity at least, that the Bruin graph uh, is, is better in terms of sensitivity. So could you speculate as to as to maybe the reasons for that, even though it's the same as last time? Uh, I think I haven't said that the graph is better on sensitivity. 
Well, so, some some of the ones that have better sensitivity. You yeah, use. but that uh, actually those, those are not, are not they, those are typical the current ways to map shallow rates. They, they, there's no no uh, assembly. <coughs> they map shallow rates for JDK. They, they do local local uh, assembly with the ring graph, but it's local, and so it's it's not direct and comparable. But yeah. So is there any effort on preserving the CMD for the measure? I remember I noticed the uh, monitor flying that the CMD is not right? Uh, the the CMD is not in the in the sense that for after you you, you do that assembly, the current output from the assembly is you get you get the context and you got for each phase you get how many reads supporting this phase. This is this information is also used used in in is in coding. So, uh, this basic gives you the confidence of, of, of each phase, it's like a, the quality of, of the, the, the counting sequence. And with this, this information, you can do the same quality, because you have the depth information in the counting. But uh, in the, if not put the, the counting input, squeeze the counting into the I mean, currently I'm not, I'm, I'm throw away all this depth information. Because you don't have depth, you, you somehow you don't know if the counting represents one sequence or two sequence, one copy or two copy. But on the other hand, I think that there's way to to save this information. Basically, you just keep one count for for, for each county, how many reads supporting, uh, or maybe the average coverage of, of the county. Well, keep this one one number. You can still re 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 recover the the same information, but maybe not as good as the, you keep the correct information. But it should be sufficient to find the most of these things. But currently, I'm not there yet. Uh, as you mentioned, you index, index hundreds of genomes for you to know, the FF index. So and I have uh, two questions about the event. Uh, the first is counting the concept level that you index multiple genomes. So how to, when, when you read, when you align your read to micro genome, how to score them. And the second question is that uh, you, you what 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 are, uh, which approaches of magic we use? You at the Appen index is a, a kind of subject tree. We can use tree tra subject tree traversing, or we can use the S index for using a CD, CDN extension. However, there, there's a dilemma that uh, if you're using the subject traversing, the subject the subject tree is uh, very complicated. It, it, uh, especially when the read the read long scrolls long, and uh, the, there's a lot of noise. And if you're using the CDN extension, uh, I mean, you need to extract the seed and uh, query the seed on the, on the index and uh, extract, extract them and locate them on the fly, then the, the efficiency still goes, still, still goes down. I think this, yeah, I think overall this approach is not really for, for read magic to, to, to map error from reads. It's more intended to, for uh, making, uh, the error say the error correct rates or the the example uh, count context, well example uh, context, well because it, this index is much few, much larger than, than the current gateway index. And uh, and more importantly, retrieving the sequence is very costly. And so you it's quite difficult, it's quite time consuming to do the this development because you you can achieve individual sequence but it's quite slow. And so the current the the way you can do it is maybe to so you, you say you have a, a, a deal. You have you have you, you have a, a deal and you want to test which sample have this deal. You can map this to you can do exact matching uh, to, to this index and retrieve which sample have this deal. Uh, this is more intended that you did not like the current matching the uh bound short 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 rates as it's not currently it's not the intended uh, use. You you mean to you mean to uh, uh, near a near exact yeah, matching yeah. for that. Yeah. Well, not, 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 not,